Okay, so this is going to be my book review. Okay, of the books that I own. Okay, so everyone knows the Twilight series is awesome. So we're just going to go ahead and skip over those. Okay, so 13 Reasons Why. 13 Reasons Why. This book is awesome. Just kidding, I'm not going to give 13 Reasons Why. But, um, it's about, and I'm going to read you the back of it, so you get the gist of what it's about. Clay Jensen doesn't want anything to do with the tapes Hannah Baker made. Hannah is dead. Her secrets should be buried with her. Then Hannah's voice tells Clay that his name is on her tapes and that he is in some way responsible for her death. Although the night, Clay keeps listening. Sorry, all through the night, Clay keeps listening. He follows Hannah's recorded words throughout his small town, and what he discovers changes his life forever. Okay, so basically it's about this girl, Hannah Baker, who commits suicide, and there's 13 reasons why she committed suicide. And this book, it's just like telling you why she killed herself and like ways you could have stopped her and like the lies people have told that made her do it. But it's really good. It's 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Go out and buy it. Go to the library or something. Really good. Okay. Sarah Dustin books are really good. Enough said on that. They're usually, like, really sad. So, some of them have, like, good morals to it. I'm just going to say, that's just pretty much all you needed to know. This book right here is the one that I wanted to read really bad. This is the first one that I found. And I was like, I want to read that. And it was probably like the last one I read. I haven't read all of her books yet. But I'm looking forward to getting to read them if I can get this book by hand. Oh! So, pretty much, that's it on the Sarah Dustin books. Go out, buy them. Go to the library or something. This book is just about dreams. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, I have the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants books. This is probably about the only one of them I read, so... I had this book in um fifth grade, <laughs> and I bought it, and I haven't read this copy that I have of it. I'm thinking about rereading it. It's a pretty easy read. It's got pictures and everything in it. No, that's not upside down. That's the way it's supposed to be. Anyways, really good book. It's about a, it's the BFG, and it stands for the Big Friendly Giant. Really good. That's all I'm going to say on that. I can't get these books back in here ever. Um, the last song. I haven't got to see the movie yet. But this book was so good. So sad. So good. I mean, most books give away, like, you know what's going to happen in the end. This book, at the end, really had me surprised. I mean, I kind of could tell by the end when I was getting closer to it. But you sometimes you can, like, tell halfway through it. But this one... You had to wait till you really got to the end to know the end. And I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end. It's really sad, though. So I'm going to say, I mean, and it really changes uh, her life, Ronnie's life. That's her name in the book. Um, down here, let's see. What do I want to tell you about on this show? It's been a while since I read this book. All I, all I remember is it's about a jury, and it's a jury that's in court for a long time because it's like a they're hung they're a hung jury no one can decide and then after it's over people start to die like the people that were on the jury start to die and stuff I, I, I don't really know how to explain this book but it's really good my sister got me to read it and if my sister reads it you know it's gotta be good because she doesn't really read that much so it's really good a book that I don't have in here right now, because my mom was supposed to be reading it, but she can't read a book to save her life. It's called The Shack. Not the, sh the Shack. I'm thinking of the movie, The Shack. The Shack. Um, it's like God comes to this man. Like, he's lost his daughter. His daughter was kidnapped and killed, and they never found her body. And... So, God comes 
to him in different forms. In the cabin, in this cabin, and, um, like, shack, I guess. My gosh, it's called the shack, since the book's called the shack. Um, but then it leads him to realize that his daughter's in a better place, and that she's happy, and then they find her body and stuff, and it's really good. You should read that. It was, it's really inspirational and has a lot of stuff in it that, if you're not a big believer, it can help you. I mean, you don't have to be a big believer to read it. I mean, but it's like God comes to this man in different forms. So, yeah. I just had to tell you that one because it's kind of awesome. Okay. I had a poems book. Um, what's that? I don't know. My mom got me this book. Uh, I read it. This, this one, I've marked some, like, quotes. It's got, like, awesome quotes in it and stuff. You can tell I've read these. Look how battered up the things are. But it's like, okay, this one, I think this is the one that has the Savannah stuff in it. Yeah. All these pages are torn out. I got these in, like, middle school. But anyways, there's, um, some... I wish I could find it, like, really quick for you, but I probably can't. But, like, I read one of these. In one of these, there's something about, like, um, it's probably this one because it's Ghost of the But, um, it's about, like, Savannah and how it's all haunted and stuff. And it's what really made me want to go to Savannah. If you watched any of the other videos from the CJ show, you know that I really want to go to Savannah and, like, stay in a haunted house and do all this cool stuff in Savannah. So, yeah, that's what got me started on that. And then I've, like, researched it more. I really want to go to Savannah. Anybody want to go? Just kidding. I don't want to go with it. Just kidding. I would go. Maybe. Okay. Um, um, it's been a while. Long while. Probably, like, my freshman, 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 I can't talk to Freshman year in uh, high school that I read this. It's been four years. So, all I remember is it's about... Oh, here, let me just read you what it says. Gibson Whittaker is leaving the Lowville House home for orphaned and abandoned boys for the second time in his young life. He is going... <clears throat> He is going back to live with the Thornton family, who are free to take him in again after Mr. Thornton's death. Life has changed some on the old ranch, and Giff can go to school, but he's still doing all the chores in the barn and stable. He's not exactly farmed out labor anymore, but will be adopted for real this time. Luckily, Gibb has his beloved horses to care for, especially the beautiful black silk. Then early one morning, a strange horse appears in a snowstorm, a handsome dapple gray that has been severely whipped and starved. is frightened and dangerous. Gib knows he must find some way to help this magnificent horse, and in the attempt, he finds one place where he will always belong. But anyways, I'm not big on, like, horse stories and stuff. I said horse, not horror, because I like horror. Um... But this one was really good, I have to say. Gib and the Gray Horse. Ghost. I almost keep saying the horse instead of ghost. Uh, okay. So, a series of unfortunate events. Yes, I read that book. This isn't, this isn't, like, you have to read the whole series to actually get the whole movie. Because it's like, this isn't the, just the first movie. I, I think that's it. My sister got this for me when I read it, and it was pretty good. I got the Sixth Sense book. If you've ever watched that movie, I love that movie. Down here, we got one of my favorite books, which I forgot to tell you one of my other favorite books that's up there. It's Bridge to Terabithia. If you've, I read this book in middle school, I think. I think it was middle school. Way before the movie came out. And the book is so much better than the movie, I have to say. I like the movie, too, but I like the book better. So, go out and buy this book. It's pretty much the same. There's not any real big differences, I don't think. It's been a while since I read the book. I mean. 
middle school, so. Then the other one I read in middle school, I think. I think it was middle school. Maybe I had a look at this. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, To Kill a Mockingbird. Really good. Love the movie to it, too. I read a lot of books that have movies to them. But I have to read the book first. Most people, like, if there's a movie to it, they just go watch the movie. Um, Education to Little Tree. Just read it. It's about a little Indian boy. Uh, he's living with his grandparents. And they, his grandpa runs a seal, teaches him the trait, and teaches him all the stuff he needs to know. My favorite favorite quote in there is, they're talking to this man, and he's like, this guy got busted. I, I don't remember what he got busted for, but the funniest thing in it was, it was like a man that was from Chicago, an Illinois place on it. And it was, the guy said, um, if you're from Chicago, then why does your license say Illinois? <laughs> Anyways, I thought it was really funny. And they, they got a crack out of it, too, in the book. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. If there's any other books you see on my shelf that you want me to give a review of because you want to read... Then just let me know. Give a sweep of all the books so you see what I have. Switch it up. 